hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video we are going to explore the health kit framework of ios i am going to show you how to get the step count from the health kit framework using swift ui so let's get started so let's first create the project using swift ui So up till this point, we have imported the health kit framework. We have created an instance of HK health store object with the name of health store variable. And then we have created a simple UI that will just display the step count.
So next we are going to implement the request authorization function. For that we are going to create two variables share types and read types. Read types is all the re relevant data that we want to read from the health kit. Data and share types is basically all the data that we want to write to health kit. Since this data is quite sensitive we need to get the authorization using our variable health store and we are going to pass the relevant parameters then it is going to return us an error or a success response. So you have seen that we are implementing the fetch step count function here that will give us the step count value and then we are going to basically query it using the HK statistics query. We are going to give certain parameters that is predicate which will uh, limit our data to our current day basically from the start of the day up till this point I am going to get all the steps I have moved for this particular day and then we are going to query it and that will either return a result or an error and I am printing it on the screen for debugging purposes 
and once we have got the result dot sum quantity so that we are going to get it because we have limited it only to our present date so the sum will not be basically of a week or a month so it will be of this day so we will we can directly put this sum value into our step count variable So if you play the code, you will encounter some of the errors. We need to set certain permissions in info.plist file. To access it, we need to click on our project name. And from that, we are going to see there is an info tab and we are going to add two of the values, privacy health share usage function and privacy health update usage description. The update usage description is for the writing purposes and the share usage description is for the reading purposes and then we are going to add the health kit entitlement for that we are going to click on the signing and capabilities tab and then we are going to basically see that uh, uh, we are going to click the plus capability button and that will give us a search bar we are going to search health kit and then enter it so to basically add health kit to our project As a last step, add these two functions into text.onAppear inside our var body sum view, self.requestAuth and self.fetch step count and then play the code. Since I am uh, running my code on simulator, we do not have the original health data. So I have uh, given all the information of health using the sample data provided by Apple. So I am attaching here the link of the video in which you can see the step by step guide to add the sample data to your health app and then add the manual value of step counts to it. And then you can run this code and see how it is showing the actual value of step count. When you are going to run the code, you will see that on the first instance, we are not able to see the step count value, but see it as zero. This is because of the reason that uh, the authorization screen is not presented and we haven't sent the properties. You can set the flow in such a way that once it is authorized, then it is going to show us the value. You can take care of this inside your code. So I have authorized all the read and write permissions that is it is asking for. And when I am going to stop the code after authorization and play it again, you will see the step count value as 32.
so guys this is all for this app i have shown you how to get the step count value using the health kit framework also i'm going to teach you in my future videos how to write data back to your um, health kit framework and how to update different values also i'm going to show you how to build different kind of uh, fitness and health kit apps using this data and using the tutorials that i am showing you uh, stay tuned for further updates also subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed it before take care of yourself goodbye